Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. This is Jennifer. If this is your first time or just, you know, maybe your second or third time to watch Talk To Me Tuesday, I want to welcome you guys. Talk To Me Tuesday is an entire community of crafty types who make videos about what we're doing. It's sort of a virtual show and tell. We talk about what we've been up to. We talk about what we're doing next. We show projects in progress. We talk about each other. We do swaps. There's all kinds of stuff that's going on. So if you want to join in as an actual video maker, maybe you're already making videos, but you'd like to be part of our community, all you have to do is drop me an email at sohooked.com gmail.com and I will add you to our community. All you need to do is send me a link to a video you've made so that we know that you really are wanting wanting to make videos. It's not an audition or anything. It's more like a, like the little CAPTCHA things that ask if you're a real person. I just want to make sure that you're a real person that wants to post videos. So anyway, we would love to have you and if you are making videos or you want to make videos, check out our about page. We've got lots of information there and if you have any questions, just let us know. So what can I say? We are in our second week of Rainbow Cascade. You guys have been amazing. I've seen some really great blocks out there. The reception for this has been fantastic, you guys. I'm enjoying it so much and I'm really glad that so many people are jumping in. Lots of fun things to talk about besides Rainbow Cascade, but I want to talk about that first because that's obviously the biggest thing going on. The very first post was last Monday. I posted all of the information that was the pattern with everything in it that you need that tells you um, how many blocks you're going to make, what colors you're going to make in that. A lot of people in the Facebook group would like to make other colors. They want to stick with like the cascade pattern where it goes, you know, color to color to color, but they wanted to make other color choices. So like maybe a light to a dark in one color. So I've created sort of a, a color chart using what was our, we already had. I just removed the colors that were in it and gave you other options so you can fill in with your own fabric. So there is a link to that document in today's post and then I'll link it again on Monday, but it's in today's post specifically on SoHook.com. That way, if you don't want to do rainbow and you want to start out with light blue and go go all the way through dark blue, you can do it that way too. You can also change your background color, change your secondary color. There are a lot of fun colorways popping up in the Facebook group, so you guys check that out too. In general, this has just been, for a first week, it's been really, really fun just to see what everyone is doing and to, to feel the excitement. I'm feeling really good about that and really enjoying just having this many people jump in. Linus was on Saturday, and for those of you that don't know, that's the Linus Connection based out of Austin, Texas. That's the, the um, charity I volunteer for, and actually I just realized that my 15th anniversary with Linus will be in November, so that's kind of crazy but I, it's true. Linus is how I got into quilting and it's how I've met a lot of people in the area and I've done had a lot of fun things that I've gotten to do because of Linus. Um, but anyway, Linus was on Saturday. We had a massive, massive collection for Hurricane Harvey that is actually going out, I believe, today. And you can see more about that on our social media. Just look for the Linus Connection on Instagram or Facebook and you'll be able to see more about that. There's also more information on our website, which was posted yesterday. It, it was wonderful just to be able to tell all of our volunteers that have been so helpful and so amazing. Another thing I really want to share is that that box of kits that I made that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago at the meeting, all of those were gone by the end except for two packages that just had like a bunch of coordinating fabric strips. And so that's the only thing that was left. And I left that with the other kits that we have for Linus and I took my box and they're, they're gone. So all those orphan blocks that I sorted into packets are gone and I'm hoping very much to be seeing those coming in in the next few months at our meetings. I'm hoping some people will show them for show and tell because that would be amazing to be able to take pictures and share those with you guys. I even put some fandom stuff in there. I had a whole set of Wizard of Oz blocks that were designed by Michelle Thompson and then um, Pattern Tester sent them to me and I put those in a kit and there was some other stuff in there. I kept all the Harry Potter stuff because I'm really greedy about all the Harry Potter stuff but anything that I could make into a kit I made into a kit and it will get made into quilts and it will go to children that are in some sort of crisis situation where they need a comfort quilt. Free Pattern Friday was on Friday and as promised I did manage to get out a new pattern. This is something I've been doodling with for a while now. I called him Friend Gnome. I had a request in the Sew Hook suggestion box which you can find in the menu on sewhook.com. I had the suggestion for different sizes of gnomes. So I had to start somewhere. So friend gnome was my very first gnome. Gnomes are not huge here in Texas. So I just kept thinking about the conversation that Harry and Ron have before they go to denome the gar garden and Ron describes to Harry what muggles thinks gnomes are. And so that's where my brain kept going. So I kind of went there with that. It's not a fandom thing. It's just a gnome. It's just a garden gnome. But because of the way I like to design things, I went back to my obsession with Sunbonnet Sue, as you guys 
guys know I have a million sunbonnet suit inspired patterns where you have like characters in profile. So that's how I did this little gnome. I am hoping to do more. So if you guys have suggestions for situations I can put a gnome in that might look cute in a quilt block, I would love to hear that. I've seen a lot of gnomes with mushrooms. That's an option. I, I'm thinking maybe a gnome with a watering can, something gardeny. You guys, I would love some, I would love some suggestions, some ideas, and I would love to add some more to this little, uh, like make, maybe make the little gnome a series. I don't know. So you guys let me know what you think. Give me some suggestions for that and who knows what will come out of it. I have big thanks today for a lot of new patrons that popped up since Rainbow Cascade started and I want to say a special thank you to my friend Domine who is a local friend. We sew together after Linus on the third Saturday of every month. So we get together and we sew and if you follow my social media you saw pictures that I was sewing or at least I think I posted at least one picture that I was sewing on Saturday. She is my friend that I sew with and she is now part of our our group on Facebook so please welcome her if you see her name pop up because she is one of my real life friends. That's enough rambling for me today. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're having a crafty week. I hope you have not been affected by any kind of crazy weather or fires or earthquakes or anything else this week. I hope you have a perfectly normal boring non-dramatic week because I think we could all use that just about right now. I hope you have a wonderful week, weekend. I hope you get crafty. I hope you post to talk to me Tuesday because we would love to see your video. I hope you will stop by Phantom of Stitches tomorrow for the next installment of Fantastic Beasts. Don't forget Free Pattern Friday. If you like my free content support me on Patreon and I will see you guys next week. Bye! This is Dipper. He's a big boy kitten, but he's not here very often because as you can see, he's pretty darn squirmy. Mm -hmm.